Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 102 on the FTC Elementary K-6 through practice test. Okay, so let's take a look. A certain kind of bacterium moves very slowly, taking steps that have a distance of some really tiny value, feet each. If one of these bacterium takes a huge amount of steps, 4 billion, 250 million steps, how far will it travel? Now, notice I kind of glided over the small value and the large value. I did that for a reason. I wanted to first not throw anyone off by how to read this. So first, I'm just going to think about it as a small value, really small. And this right here as a really large value. Now, I want you right away to make sure that you know if this is small, not only that this is large, but you should be able to, you should know the place value of this one right away. There's uh, the ones, tens, hun uh, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million, billion. So we could interpret this right away, I want you to be like four billion, two hundred fifty million. That's the first level of, you know, interpreting place value. Knowing your place value up to a billion. Okay? So this is a really, it's, it's uh, taking a lot of steps. Now, the small, we really don't use numbers like this. So whether I say it's small or it's 20 millionth of a step, you know, it's, I think it's a lot easier to think of it as being really small. Now, if the 20 millionth, I got that by knowing that this is in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 10,000, million, I mean, hundred, uh, hundred thousandths, million, 20 million. So, you know, you don't really need to know that. What you do need to know is it's a really small number. And they want you to work with scientific notation, be able to think, use calculations with scientific notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these numbers and write them in terms of their values um, expressed in scientific notation. We'll start with this one right here, the very large number. When we have a very large number, and we're going to write in scientific notation, we start by finding the decimal, right? It's right there. And I'm going to move this over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine spaces over to the left. When you move to the left, when, you, when you're taking a large number, it's going to be 4.25 times 10 to the positive 9. Now, positive um, in scientific notation, when it's base 10 and it's positive, it means that it's a really big number. So you only you'd only see a positive exponent here if you're representing a really large number. Now, what about the small? Well, I can write in scientific notation, but it's going to be negative scientific notation. So now we're going to start with the decimal and move it to the right. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7. So this actually becomes 2 times 10 to the negative 7. So it takes a lot of steps, but it travels only, it travels a very short distance per step. Okay, now before I go any further, now I'm going to try a comprehension strategy. Uh, which is just to get an, just to get a feeling for this. Um, I have to figure out how I'm going to use these numbers. Do I multiply, divide? So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's just imagine it does two, uh, it travels two feet for every step. And let's say it goes, you know, an approximately uh, 425 takes 425 steps. So if you think about it, what we're really going to be doing is taking the number of steps and multiplying it by, you know, the distance, right, per step. So if it takes, if it goes 425 steps and it travels 2 feet per step, then it's going to be 425 times 2 would be 850. 
So now I know that I'm going to take the total, dis the total number of steps and multiply by the distance it goes per step. So my answer should model something similar to this. All right, so how am I going to do that with the scientific notation? Well, for the distance, I'm going to write in here 4.25 times 10 to the 9th. And for the distance uh, per step, I write in here 2 times 10 to the negative 7th. This is how many this is how far. That's what we're trying to figure out. That's our question here. How far does this bacterium go? When you have something like this, you multiply the whole values. So that would be 4.25 times 2, right? And you multiply the values that are in scientific notation, which would be 10 to the 9th times 10 to the negative 7th. We just did a little regrouping. We, we grouped the 2 with this and this with this. Okay? 4.25 times 2 gets you 8.5. Now, how do you deal with multiplying um, numbers with exponents? These are numbers with exponents, and this is going to be a little review of uh, how to multiply, uh, how to work with uh, exponents here. But when they have the same base, remember, when multiplying ex uh, numbers with exponents, when the base is the same, you add the exponents. So this would be 10. That keep the base the same, and you take the 9, and you, oops, you would add a negative 7 to it. So that would really turn this into um, 10 to the 2. Now, now, what is 10 to the second power? It's 100. So it would be 8.5 times 100 gets you 850. All right. Thanks so much, team, for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos. And if you need some extra help, you can check out a Go Math workshop. We're holding the FTC Math Workshops this spring um, in Florida. And we're holding the MTEL Math, Science, English, and History uh, workshops in Massachusetts. And soon we're going to add workshops to uh, California and New York. So uh, stay tuned. All right. All right, have a great day, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.